Hey everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. Right, so for this video, I am going to be unboxing my latest pickup that I got for Batman and Robin. Now, I'm definitely going to hold my hands up in the air and say, you know what? I bought this movie for one reason and one reason only, to complete a collection, because I hate this movie. Uh, this is my Superman 4 in the Batman universe, and ironically enough, it's the fourth movie as well in this Batman franchise. All you have to do is watch the first 12 minutes of this movie and it's gonna, it tells you everything that you need to know in terms of what was going to be going on with this movie. Uh, I remember just looking at it and going, uh, you know, even when Robin and Batman right at the start of the movie are actually putting on the suits and you see the camera zooming in on their asses and all that kind of stuff, it was just... <laughs> It was absolutely ludicrous, it really was. And then of course putting nipples onto the suit as well. Absolutely tragic. And uh, then when it goes to Mr. Freeze, probably around five minutes then into the movie, and you get to see Schwarzenegger and uh, coming out with some of the worst dialogue you will ever hear from a, uh, a superhero villain. Uh, he was um, horribly, horribly miscast for this movie, but I understand why they got him. Why wouldn't you want to get Arnold Schwarzenegger? Uh, he was going to bring put, put butts in the seats uh, for his just appearance alone. But it just did not work. And then when you hear George Clooney say, I'm Batman. <laughs> you see, Batman, you know, Bruce Wayne, he's meant to be a tortured soul. Where George Clooney just comes across as this real lovable, charming guy. And he didn't even try to distort his voice. He just sounds like George Clooney. And then not only that, but when they're kind of... Just before they kind of just bust in on Mr. Freeze right at the start of this movie. When you see Robin coming in, Chris O'Donnell. Uh, just check out the wall behind them. He comes through on his bike. And then all of a sudden, the wall has a, a, like an imprint of uh, the Batman, sig uh, Batman sigil. And I was like, how the hell did that bloody happen? It's just the most ridiculously cheesy movie that you will ever see and nearly everybody was miscast in this movie the only person i do remember enjoying well chris o'donnell wasn't too bad as robin but i do remember enjoying uma thurman in this movie as well but the rest of them yeah you know what I, I i couldn't be bothered with them it's a horrible horrible movie but the one thing i have to give one a brother credit for uh, in terms of this movie and this release the the, the, the job they've done on this um, edition is very very beautiful and not only that but the 4k picture is astonishing it really really is easily the most colorful batman movie you will ever see and they handled it so incredibly well it looks amazing on 4k and the dolby atmos is extraordinary it really really is there's also a few features on this as well you got the shadow of the bash it's the complete saga dark knight part three you've got in there you got the uh, additional scenes alfred's lost love uh, beyond Batman documentary gallery you've also got three music videos as well there's actually a great soundtrack to this movie uh, that's the one uh, positive thing I can say about it right so I'm not going to waste any time I'm going to take us around this release and uh, show you everything that's inside it so uh, yeah let's get to it right so here we go Batman and Robin so I'm going to quickly just show you the J car before I get on to the actual unboxing itself but uh, yeah it just gives you a close look at all the contents inside the set and there you are, you got your special features there as well, just a write-up of the movie. And then right there is a close look at your technical aspects there. So uh, yep, that's the J card, so put that to a side. Let's bring in the release. So yes, all the exact same artwork as the previous three, uh, only for you kind of have a, I don't know, is it an orange? I can't quite make it out because of the colour in here. I think it's an orange uh, colour scheme to this one. And of course you got the kind of Robin and the Batman sigil kind of just blended in as one so uh yeah a nice solid hard book as well and of course you got batman and robin you got the cast there and uh yeah i'm always saying that these uh ratings down the bottom they're all stickers and can be removed so uh yes very simplistic artwork but uh yeah i think it's nice so right onto the spine we go so you got batman and robin now again they're all stickers can be removed and of course you got the 4k logo up at the top there and then right around to the back, and uh, this is actually quite nice as well. Uh, so you got Batman and Robin there. And then, of course, the orange, the bit of orange that you do have, that is all kind of heavy spot glossing. So, uh, yes, really, really is a nice a nice artwork on, on this. Um, it just doesn't... I, I, I kind of like the artwork, the, the way that the silhouette is done on this box set. It just doesn't work on the steelbook. I don't know what it is. 
I, I like it on the box, do not like it on the steel book. Maybe if the steel book had a high gloss finish, uh, it might be a bit better, but uh, it does have a, it has a simple matte finish and it, it just doesn't seem to work uh, for me. So uh, that's the actual back artwork, back, uh, back artwork, sorry, and then that's the top of the box there. And then down to the bottom. And then of course you have your contents inside. So right, let's open this up and have a look. Uh, so as per usual, you have your steel book and you have your envelope there as well with all your goodies. So I think I will start again with the envelope and then we'll make our way onto the uh, steel book itself. So uh, yes, the envelope is continuing up with the rest of them as well. You kind of got that blueprint design, a uh, different color scheme. And of course you got the, the sigil of Batman and Robin. Uh, I'm presuming that's what it is, Batman and Robin. I think it is. <laughs> I, again, I'm, I'm sure you'll correct me in the comment section, but I think that's what it is. So, uh, yeah, nice artwork there. And then it continues to the back of it. So, uh, right, let's open this up and have a look inside. So I'm, I'm presuming it's going to be much of the same that we've seen on uh, the, uh, the Batman Forever uh, edition. So uh, you got your booklet there. You got your poster. And then, of course, uh, your postcards. So I'm going to start just like the last edition with the character cards. So you got George Clooney there. And June 20th written down the bottom. Of course, Arnold Schwarzenegger. And then, of course, Chris O'Donnell. So, uh, yeah, I, again, I, I have to praise the, the, the actual... How these postcards actually look. They're actually very well made. High gloss finish to them, which is quite nice. So, uh, yeah, that is a few character cards. And then they're continuing with the black and white stills as well. There is George Clooney in all his glory, nipples and all. <laughs> what a disaster. Uh, it's weird uh, design choice for that suit. Of course, you got the beautiful Uma Thurman and uh, Alicia Silverstone and Chris O'Donnell there. Arnold Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze. Uh, oh, the less I say about him, the better, unfortunately. <laughs> so uh, that's a few of the black and white stills. And then you kind of go on to the, the more colorful ones. And uh, that's exactly what this movie is. It's incredibly colourful. Definitely the most colourful Batman movie you will ever see. So, uh, yeah, that's a close look at some of the postcards. Again, very, very nice. Lovely high gloss finish to them. And uh, some of the best postcards you will see in terms of editions like this. And then, of course, you got your small little poster. And uh, let me see if I can get this uh, somewhat in frame. Which, as you can see, has June 20th written at the bottom there. And then it's just that shared logo again. Uh, nothing else there and then when you flip it around uh, it's the original uh, artwork uh, for this movie so uh, there you go just gives you a close look at it and let me fold this back up and that will bring us lastly on to the, the stills booklet and uh, again more heavy heavy spot glossing going on the cover here just on the the silhouette of uh, Batman and Robin and then of course a kind of a matte finish on the back and then it should be the symbol yep there we go so, right, let me open it up, and yeah, it's going to be much the same that we've seen on all the other previous booklets, where it's just stills from the actual movie itself. So, there we go, folks, that is the booklet, and then that lastly brings us on to the Steelbook it's, uh, itself. So, um, yeah, I, like I said, it's the, the, the Steelbooks are underwhelming. I said it for every single one of my videos that I've done for these uh, editions. Uh, maybe, like I said, if there was a high-gloss finish to the Steelbook, it, it would have been a hell of a lot better. Uh, but unfortunately, it is what it is. But like I said in the previous video, I will never let a steelbook define uh, an edition like this. So, uh, yeah, that is the steelbook anyway. And then right around to the spine. And then to the back. And you've got Mr. Freeze. And, uh, of course, you've got all the credits there. And that kind of blueprint design is going on through the entire uh, background. So, right, let's open it up. And there you have it, that is the steel book in full. And right around, and of course you have your disc, so uh, you have your 4K disc. And then you have your Blu-ray, if it will come out. There we go. And then that leads us to the artwork inside, and of course it is the Batmobile. Uh, the Batmobile is uh, the inside artwork for each steel book. Uh, for each movie, so uh, that's quite nice. So there you have it folks. So you have your just as per usual You have your steel book there You've got your envelope with all your postcards in it and of course the actual box itself uh, I am a, such a fan of these editions uh, and I think 
Uh, Warner Brothers done such a lovely job on the entire set and they actually look amazing uh, when you have them sitting beside each other on your shelf. Right folks, so there you have it. That is everything inside that Batman and Robin edition. And I have to tell you, is it, this entire collection just look, looks beautiful together. They do match up so well. Uh, everything about them, whether it's the envelopes, the steelbooks, they just go perfectly together. And like I've said in my previous video, when you have them sitting in your shelf, it just looks amazing. And uh, again, thank you Warner Brothers for actually completing this collection for us. Uh, it would have been a shame if you didn't. So there you have it folks, there you have it. So as per usual, if you did like what you see here, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you could do, leave a comment down below. And please do share your thoughts on this movie and what did you think of it. And yeah, I hope to see you all again real soon with my next video. Until then, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.